What's up, guys? Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. Uh, we are continuing our series on uh, identity in Christ. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about obstacles to a healthy identity. Yes, there is such thing as a healthy identity. Anyway, um, uh, when farmers are going to plant their seeds, they have to go through certain processes. They don't just uh, <laughs> wake up in the morning and they just throw the seed in where they are going. First of all, they have to till the land. They have to prepare it for the seed. They have to um, plant the seed. That is very important. They have to weed out the unwanted crops or plants. Those are the weeds. And they have to water the seed in order for it to grow or sprout out of the ground. Then they have to continue other processes. Uh, depending on the type of plant that they have planted. Uh, This got me thinking about uh, relating it to our identity in Christ Jesus. Uh, There is a huge difference between knowing the truth about who God says we are in Christ Jesus and actually leaving it out. Just as a farmer takes time to prepare for the seed to be planted and even continue until harvest time, Uh, through certain processes, the same thing applies to us. We may know the word, that is, if we're actually reading the Bible, we may know the word, but then there's a huge difference between knowing what the Bible says about us in Christ Jesus and then leaving it out. So one of the obstacles that I think we usually face uh, as uh, Christians or anyone that is finding identity in Christ is living out what the Bible says. I compare it to a farmer who just sits there and they wish that uh, their seeds are planted and they are going to harvest when the season comes. It is There is no difference between us living uh, based on what the world says about us and then wishing that we can be different. We've been sharing from Ephesians chapter 1. And uh, you may find yourself in a space where by you think that um, you are orphaned, yet the Bible says you have been adopted. You may find yourself in a position where you think that you are under the law, yet the Bible says that you are covered by grace. You may find yourself in a position where you think you are in chains. These may not be physical chains, they may be chains of uh, addictions. Addiction to social media, addiction to pornography, addiction to smoking, addiction to uh, alcohol, any sort of addiction. Yet the Bible says you've been set free. You may be in a position where you think that you're rejected, yet the Bible says you are accepted. So how do we move from a place of just knowing to applying what we know? I, I like using the example of farmers because they are very practical and I think... Jesus was very wise when he was using these references of nature and how nature works. So I think the first step would be us leaving out the truth. Not not actually, that's not the first step. The first step is, do you know the word? Do you read the word? Because without that word, which is the seed, then we have nothing. It is like a farmer going to a garden to plant seeds which he doesn't have and then wishing that he will harvest something. So the first step is for us to know the word. Memorizing scripture is very important. You can choose to memorize one portion of scripture every week. That is enough for you to stand on. It's not really enough, but it's a starting point for you. Then the second thing is actually to leave it out. So I think the biggest obstacle that I've realized to people facing with identity and not uh, actually walking the truth that God says about them is living out what the word says then the other one is actually knowing the truth knowing what is in the bible and the truth that the bible says yeah that's it for this episode i would like to give an opportunity to anyone that is out there that would like to receive jesus christ as lord and savior if they haven't repeat these words after me father i thank you because you sent your son jesus christ to die for my sins i surrender my life into your hands and i ask that you use it to do something extraordinary I thank you because my identity is rooted in nothing else but in your son, Jesus Christ. And I choose to surrender my life in order for you to give me yours. 
that is full and lacking nothing. Amen. So if you have said that prayer, you are born again. Welcome to the church family. I encourage you to look for any church that is nearest to you. Tell them about the decision that you have made so that you can be discipled. It is very important for you to walk with fellow believers so that you can be nurtured to grow as a Christian. Until next time, do remember to stay positive, step out of your comfort zone and lead an extraordinary life. Peace.